Hi, my name is Ankita Desai with Avaya Client Services. In this video, we are going to see how to install Avaya Aura System Manager Certificate on Avaya Equinox Client. Avaya recommends the use of TLS to provide security for all network connection. Install a secure server certificate obtained from a certificate authority. If you are using Avaya Aura System Manager as a certificate authority, then you can use this procedure to install the certificate on client. Pre-checks before beginning. First step is to install the Avaya Equinox client on the required platform like Windows or mobile platform. Post doing that, you will need to download the certificate from Avaya Aura System Manager web interface. With the Avaya Aura System Manager version 7.0.1, there is a new checkbox added for listen port under Avaya Aura Session Manager SIP entity. This, this needs to be checked. To download and install the certificate, below is the procedure. First step is log in to the System Manager web interface and navigate to Security, Certificate and download the PEM file. Once you have downloaded the certificate, please rename it to .crt. Once you change the certificate name, double click on the certificate and install it under Trust Store. Now log in to the client in order to add the certificate. At the very starting, you will get the configuration option. This procedure is for manual configuration. So select the manual configuration from the settings tab. After doing that, navigate to services and click on show details. It will open up the phone services configuration page as seen in the below screenshot. You will need to configure a few parameters like server address. In server address you have to add the session manager SM100 IP address. If you are unsure about the IP address you can do if config on Viora session manager and copy the it0 IP address. In the server port, because we are using TLS, we have to put 5061. For domain, you have to put in the domain name as mentioned in the SMGR user management. Enable the TLS in order to select the TLS option. Once this is done, go to the accounts tab and configure the phone server username and password. After this is done, click on done and this will prompt for an application restart. Once the application is back again, sign in and you will be successfully logged into the client. If there is any conflict with the certificate, then it will give you a login failed error. Thank you for watching. For any questions, feedbacks, please write at mentor at .com. You can also contact us on Twitter at AvayaMentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.